Today, I'm going to allow AI to generate my logo for this channel. And I would usually create it in Illustrator or Photoshop or even on the back of a notepad. But today I'm going to be using Mid Journey. This channel is all about AI art and illustration. It only makes sense to make the logo using an image generator. So I've not done this before, so I'm going to give this a go. Let's head over to Mid Journey. Right, here we go. So let's put in our prompt. So we need to do forward slash imagine. And our prompt will be logo design uh, icon and I'm thinking but I'm thinking of a brain and a circuit board combined and a very simple vector style illustration so logo design icon vector style brain circuit board now hit return and see what it gives me I am not expecting Mid Journey to give me my logo straight away. I'm expecting to do different variations and different prompts to try it out, but let's see. So we're at 62%. Do you know what? I actually really, really like one of them already. So once it's finished rendering, I'll give it a chance. I'll open it up and show you. Okay, so these are the four variation Mid Journey has given me off my prompt. And this one reminds me of the chip of my credit card. <laughs> Probably something I want to stay away from. But I can imagine that with a brain in the middle. Perhaps that's too small and too detailed for a logo because I want the logo to be uh, where it's small, very clear, and you can identify it from far away. I actually really like the aesthetic of this bottom left one here, but sometimes I, I prefer a bit of symmetry in the logo. Not sure what is going on with that one, but we're just going to leave that. And this bottom right one here, do you know, I really like this one. And I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to just save that. Because I kind of like that. I think I might... Let's see a variation on that one. So the bot is now working on giving me a variation on the one I like. And... It's look, looking pretty, um, it, it's what I imagined, which is quite scary. And it's a really simple logo. And to be honest, you'd probably find a logo like this on a stock image website, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not that concerned about it looking generic. So this is kind of cool. I really like this fourth one because that's looking more like a top down slice of a brain, but with the chip element in it. Um, I really like that. So I'm gonna right click on that and save that one. I'm now gonna take that chip brain logo that I created in Vid Journey and pop it into Photoshop and create a vector from it. Now I usually would do this in Illustrator, but I have so many software subscriptions, you would not believe it's unreal. And I've had to let go some pieces of software because it's costing me literally an arm and a leg. So Illustrator's gone, so I'm gonna have to do everything with Photoshop. So yeah, if you've got Illustrator, use the live trace tool on it, but in Photoshop, come with me and I'll show you how I can create this into a vector now. These are the logos that I created in Mid Journey and do you know, I quite like this one here, this curvature up here is quite cute. Cute. Uh, <laughs> it's quite nice. <laughs> um, I actually quite like that one, but I, I'm thinking more this one. I don't know, that looks a bit more brain-like. Perhaps that one. But what we'll do is open up um, a new document. And let's... Let's get some of these on that there and live trace them. So I'll plop that one down there, scale him up slightly. And which one do I prefer out of here? I think I like this one because it does look like a brain shape. So we've got our two runner ups. So I've narrowed down the two logo images. And you know what, I think I prefer this one in the bottom. I love the shape of the top one, but this 
this one looks more like a brain to me and that's what I was going for. So I'm just gonna click that off for now and bring this guy up here. And I'm gonna use this tool here, which is within the pen tool, which is the content aware tracing tool. Now, if you can't see that in your Photoshop, all you need to do is go to edit, preferences and technology previews. And within there, under technology previews, just make sure enable content aware tracing tool is checked on, okay? And with this tool, you can literally just hover over the section that you want to create a vector from and click on it. And it's created a vector from there. Just like seriously, that quick, crazy, yeah? Okay, so that is my logo. And let's make it black. And that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's give it a bit down. Thank you so much, Midjourney. You have created my logo. What do you guys think? <coughs> do you think it sucks? Or do you quite like it? Was there any logos that you saw that I created that you prefer? But for now, I'm gonna create this. This is now the prompt news, new logo. I would love to know what you guys think about this logo and generally how you feel about creating artwork, logo design, all in AI. Now, I understand this is going to cause a problem for stock images, and I know artists in, in general are feeling the pressure and heat um, from AI generation software, and it is sad that we are losing, um, feels like we're losing something, but we're also gaining a new perspective and a different angle towards art. And my theory is a bit like, so the man with the plow and the horse, they got replaced by the tractor and he lost his job because the man with the plow and the horse could not afford to buy a tractor and then the farmers obviously progressed from there. It is progression and it's hard and it's sad and I think people will lose their jobs but they need to keep up with technology and they need to learn and myself, I own a software company as well as a that creates stock images. So this literally does affect my livelihood. But lucky for me, I've always been involved in technology and one of my key skills is learning software pretty quick. So I feel like I will become, you know, part of the community. I hope to become part of the community, of the AI community. And I hope Prompt Muse is here to help you guys as well as myself learn the software and become inspired by it rather than afraid of it. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to this channel. It's very new and I need your help to grow it. As always, thank you so much for watching. That means so much to me. I've got some really interesting ideas for the next video. So hit that notification bell and that will let you know when I upload next. Thanks a lot, bye.